Gonna gather now. I'm a little bit worrisome about the cannibals because we saw them earlier, but it was just a scouting party. They might come back with larger numbers next time, though. And that's sort of like the horror aspect. They can actually also climb in fucking trees. I'm not kidding. They can, like, jump out at you. Alright. Sun is almost setting, so I think in a, in a while we should also go to sleep. Because I don't want to play this game at night, because that's very scary. There we go. So now, for this, we need a live rabbit. But, um, obviously, rabbits are not at the beach. You need to go land inward. And also, I actually don't know how to get a live rabbit. You can build traps, which I think mostly are uh, meant for the, the cannibals. But maybe something like this might actually also capture a rabbit. Since it's night, I advise that we're going to go to sleep. Even though my energy and food levels are pretty good. But uh, it's just very spooky during the night, so let's do it. Alright, and now we slept. And it's becoming light again. In terms of food, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. This place is even better than the other one because I didn't have the fish there. Oh, a feather. This can be used in crafting, actually. But here we have a good supply of fish. Um, unfortunately, you cannot do anything with the seagulls. You would think you can cook them too, but you can't. I still have some rabbits. So maybe it is time to actually build a trap. Just to be sure that I won't be ganked by... Only where? Where would be smart? I guess here. That way, while I am, like, cutting trees and shit, I have some cover on me. It's not great cover, because if they come from the left, it doesn't really matter, right? If I have this thing on the right, but... Three logs needed. Now with the fire that I made, that it, though it says it scares off enemies, it doesn't really. They don't give a fuck about the fire. But the AI is stupid enough that if you lure them, you can let them walk into the fire, and if they walk into the fire, they're dead. They will die. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Mmm, bitch! I'm running away! I'm running away! Oh, you sluts! Oh, you sluts! Oh, you fucking sluts! Come on. Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. Yes! Get over here. Bastards are running away. No, they're still in the outlook. They're interested. I 
can't really make anything though. Don't have any. Yeah, little birdie, blah blah. So the fire's very weak though, since the it's still wet. Oh, here they come. There. Ah, oh, no, no, no! You didn't burn, damn it! Uh, uh, uh. Yes! Burn, slut! So I don't know if you saw that, but two of them were actually like chanting there, and I wonder if that's what they meant with the whole like religion thing. That is a, so one thing that you can do oh okay I don't know why this guy is this oh comes another one so you can dismember them oh god Why would you do that? I don't necessarily know. Maybe in the end they will respawn again. You will need some of these for some of the effigies. Oh. What you want? I know that there's at least one more out there. I saw two there. Now, where is the log? There must be another one, right? It might have fallen down. Or rolled down, I should say. Ah, uh, there they are, in the distance. I'll just get it here. So, if that was the whole group, which I don't think it was, I think it was there was one left, but he might have run away. Now it would give me some time again until the next attack. <sighs> so now, we should kind of think about what we're going to built next. Maybe a wall might be a good idea. My energy levels are pretty low, so I will need to drink a soda pretty soon. now weirdly enough you run a lot faster if you fucking straight oh 
There's a little pond here, which we can use. We can use that probably for fish. And there might be some... Oh. Oh, that's a big party. What you want? Get over here. You fucking assholes. I need one more stick. One more fucking stick. I mean, are you kidding me? I, just a stick? Ah. This thing is pretty broken. One stick. Give me one stick. You. Yes. Zip. Alright. At least I will have some protection here. They try and come and take me now. Alright, sorry about that. I checked the footage again. Seems still okay. So, what do we got? What do we got? I'm, I'm very interested in that pond. Now, what I kind of wanted to do is I wanted to build a wall. First of all. So, one thing you can do is you can build a wall with a door. Which I don't know if that opens for them as well. I assume it doesn't. But I could be wrong. So this is a defensive wall, which we will put over here. Now we need to collect some logs. Uh huh. Like I said, I think that the game looks very beautiful for it. An indie game. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play this. Because some of, like, I think Rust looked like absolute garbage. Oh, there's another sacrificial thing over there as well. I do have to say one thing about the cannibals this time they are a lot less aggressive than during my first playthroughs. I mean, they did attack me the first day that I was here on my first playthrough. Uh, and uh, or They come at me now quite often, but every time I run back, they run away, where they absolutely did not give a fuck last time. Now, I didn't have a, a, a the fire pit, though. I had a basic fire. Don't know if that has anything to do with it. So now that is done, and we can basically do it again by making another. And we need to probably hold on. Oh, this is gonna look pretty shitty. So I don't know how to delete stuff that you don't want to build, or that you place wrong. So, so I'll find that out. But after I'm, do I'm done with the 
kind of a wall that I'm kind of secure with. Uh, we should check out that pond over there. Probably make some traps around that as well. Secure that. The um, trap with the trap wire is actually a trap that can only build on wood, so it cannot be built here. It can only be built in the forest. Over here we have berries. We can eat them. But the tutorial explained that you can actually also find poison berries that can poison you. Uh, and the difference is in how they look. So the poison berries are black and they come in pairs. And the good berries have little crowns, which they have. So I can eat these without worry. But they don't give a whole lot. No, that actually doesn't look too bad. Especially from afar. I'm gonna build one more wall over here, and then I'm kinda happy. Uh, and then we can uh, continue heading land inward. So. Let's have it like this. Ugh. One game that I was actually very interested in first, as like a gathering game or surviving, was the, I, th I think it's called S Scar uh, Sky Far or Far Sky, where you're in the ocean. But... In terms of things that you could build, it didn't actually seem too varied, and that's why I didn't actually end up buying it, but exploring the sea and everything with sharks seemed actually like a cool idea to me. That's why I also was really interested in the stomping land and stuff, since I'm a real big fan of dinosaurs, and I want an Arma-like or daisy like experience with dinosaurs. It's really something that I look forward to. But both the trailer, and I saw some Let's Play videos of... Stomping lad, it just looked like garbage. It looked gray, boring. It only has like five dinosaurs right now, so it doesn't really help. I hope I didn't fucking eat poison berries right now because I didn't check. No, they're good. Uh, ah, here we go. Alright, that's one thing that's actually pretty cool that you can build, but you kind of need a bigger wall for that to be really effective, is you can build like a platform, and, uh, including stairs, and then you can actually like walk around the wall and see what's over it, because obviously if this whole area was now surrounded by walls, I couldn't see what's going on behind it. But the reason why I made this is so that I kind of forced the enemy to kind of go through there. They still have a lot of er area here, but I kind of want to see how they react there. Alright. Now, next game plan. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the plan is. I want to go to that pond, but what do I want to do there? So, in terms of furniture, there still isn't anything here, unfortunately. Um, food, we can make a garden. We need, I guess, seeds for that, though, because I don't know. That, that, that's another thing that we might actually want to build here first. Uh, nice little garden. Let's have it over here. And we only need two locks for that, so that is very easy to build. I'm a little hungry, 